Alright guys, how's it going? So uh, yeah, as you guessed from the title of the video, full day of eating coming up, um, and then deadlifts and whatever else I do later in the gym. Um, today's goals, I'm going to try and get, because it's a heavy deadlift session hopefully, going to try and aim for five, six thousand calories maybe. Um, stats, I'll, I'll keep you updated throughout the video on what I'm eating obviously, and what's in each meal, and why I have it and blah blah blah. Um, my stats, if anyone's wondering, I'm I'm almost 6'5", I'm 6'4.7". Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? To be precise, uh, and at the minute I weigh I weighed myself yesterday and I've lost weight actually in the self-isolation, so I'm 122 kilos. Um, I'll put up a conversion for that in pounds somewhere. Um, I think it's like 260 or something, I don't know. But 122 kilos, so... Yeah, today's goal is going to be between five and 6,000. I don't know 100% if I'll hit it because, well, because I haven't gone through the day yet, so we'll see. I'm at Tesco at the minute, going to pick up a few things that I need for today's video and for eating today. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you soon. Hi, so that's me just down at Tesco now. Um, didn't have to get too much, it was just a wee top off shop. Um, I did however get a new hat because hats have become my new best friend during this lockdown. Um, obviously with all the barber shops closed, hairdressers closed. My girlfriend actually is a hairdresser but I can't see her so man can't get a haircut. And I am not following the trend of everyone shaving their heads because I am not a sheep unlike others in the group. Uh, quick change of plan. I was going to go home and make breakfast and show you breakfast and all but Ethan has just uh, texted me, King Ethan, and said that I can have his girlfriend's old tripod because she used to do YouTube videos and she's got a gorilla tripod that like wraps around stuff. It's really really handy. So he's just texted me and said I can go up and get that. He's going to drop it at the bottom of his drive. I'm going to go up and collect it which will make filming and stuff a bit easier. So go to go up and get that and then home and get breakfast. Right, so just met up with Ethan there and he gave me the tripod, pretty good one, so as you can see it bends so it can wrap around stuff or you can just hold it like that. So I guess I'm officially a vlogger now. Guys, meal one then, so we have 50 grams of porridge, um, one banana and 50 grams of crunchy peanut butter in there as well, I don't know if you can see it. And then over here we have a wee fruit bowl as well to have after it. Um, Alright, so after... Um, Breakfast after meal one, I'm gonna have one of these three taboo donuts. Um, they're about three. They're just over three hundred calories each. Um, I'm gonna play a strongman card. You know I'm a strongman, so I need to get the calories in. They can't all be clean. So, so meal number two then is two hundred and fifty grams of white basmati rice, two hundred and fifty grams of turkey mince, uh, fifty grams of peas, and then eight spears of asparagus. Um, Yes, yeah, so there's meal two. Oh, there's also some curry sauce in there mixed through as well, homemade curry sauce. So this meal is about 800 and something, 815 calories or something for, for meal two. So going to eat this, edit up some videos and then meal three and then work out hopefully. I like to have at least two or three meals in me before working out, usually three, because um I just feel like I have more energy and I can... Just do more in the gym if, if I know that I've had at least three meals, three good meals. So, uh, yeah, catch up with you in a bit. Alright guys, so meal three then coming up. Um, obviously with being from Ireland and this being an Irish channel, got to represent the potatoes. So we've got 300 grams of homemade chips, 225 grams of steak and 225 grams of broccoli. All together this is 600 calories. So, going to have this and then going to train. Hey guys, how's it going? So, in the gym, um, obviously. I'm going to hit some deadlifts. Um, I was going to go quite heavy, but it is freezing tonight. Especially out in the concrete garage. Um, I've got my trusty little heater with me. So, it's, it's heating it up for now. I'm um, going to do a really good warm up, about half an hour, maybe 20-25 minutes warming up. Making sure everything's really nice and warm, because whenever it's cold, 
you're a lot more susceptible to injury, and I don't really want that happening, obviously. So, go and warm up for a good while, um, let the pre-workout and all hit me, and then we'll see where we get to in deadlifts. Not going to show too much, because obviously it is a full editing video first, so we'll see how we do. So, quick intro workout snack. Um, I run a bit behind on calories and stuff today, so when in, because I'm working in the garage as well, right beside the kitchen, just went in and grabbed another one of my donuts. So that's another 300 calories in, and I'll keep it going until post workout. Alright guys, that's me done for tonight then. Um, yeah, tonight was actually really hard. That's what she said. Um, done, worked up to 3x3 on the lift of 180 kilo, then went on to 5x5 of 20 kilo resistance bands uh, pull ups, and then just finished off with bicep curls. Um, I don't know about anyone else, but deadlifts do always tax, tax me from the start. Like my CNS is absolutely fried for the rest of the session, plus just being in a freezing garage by yourself it is, it is it's hard to get the same intensity into the workout but got it done anyway three by three of 180 i mean i've done more at 180 but just just trying to keep things taking over so go get post-workout meal now all right guys so personal post-workout meal is going to be 80 grams of honey nut shredded wheat and 40 grams of dry roasted peanuts these nuts <laughs> Got <he. laughs> And that's just post workout, uh, just really quick. It's about five, five fifty calories maybe. Don't know. I'll have it somewhere on the screen. So, gonna have this. Go and get a shower, and then come down for a final meal. All right, guys. So final meal of the night. Then final proper meal is two steak burgers and eight spears of asparagus. Um, this will be the final proper meal, and then. I think I've got something in the freezer for the last one, just, just as a wee treat. But since everyone else on the channel is showing their dogs, I thought I would. And you can all agree that my dog is definitely the best dog. Isn't that right, Indy? <laughs> he just wants a bit of this, so I will give him a bit, actually. You ready? Here. Catch. Yeah. So yeah, my dog is definitely the best. And in case anyone was wondering as well about water intake, these here from bulk powders, 2.2 litres, and usually I just fill up like two of them throughout the day and drink away, sip away at it. So yeah, see you in the next clip. Okay, so the final thing I'm going to have tonight is the best ice cream known to man. The Ben & Jerry's peanut butter cup. I love peanut butter, anything peanut butter. Um, yeah, it's definitely the best flavour. Don't come at me with your chocolate fudge brownie and your fish food, your caramel chew chew. The only one, actually, that comes Relatively close is probably cookie dough, but it's still not as good as peanut butter cup. So, 200 grams of this, half a tub, and that's the final thing. This is a wee treat at the end of the night. So, yeah, that's been the full day of eating. I think finished off maybe four and a half thousand, maybe, which isn't actually bad for me. Um, if anyone's wondering, obviously, strong men are notorious for having these eight, nine, ten thousand calorie diets. Um, the reason mine's relatively low compared to that is because I've only been doing it about two months really, properly. And before that, I was actually on a cut. So I was probably on around 2,700, 2,800 calories, I think. And if I was to go from 2,700 calories straight to like 8,000, it just, well, one, I probably couldn't do it. 
and the body just it needs time to adapt to so I'm bringing it up gradually so I've gone from 2700 to between four and a half five and a half thousand at the minute and I'm finding it better because my strength's going up my weight's going up but it's not you know just all fat and if I was just to jump from 2700 straight to like 8,000 10,000 my body just wouldn't know what was going on I would ugh, I don't even I don't I don't know but definitely I think it's better to bring it up gradually and just kind of let your body adapt to it as you keep going up like whenever I stop gaining weight I just put it up by 500 calories a day until I stop gaining weight again and then repeat repeat the process so at the minute between four and a half five and a half is working I know I said I lost weight at the start of the video but that's because self isolating and I'm not eating every day the way I should but yeah just in case anyone's wondering um anyway thanks for watching the video and hope to see you tune in in the next one thank you